Hey Internet, thanks for watching another episode of LDEV Kitchen. Today we're going to be making gyoza or potstickers if you shop at Costco. Um, started in China, uh, became really popular in Japan. Like most tasty things, they have a way of slipping across the border and changing a little bit. But uh, the first time I ever had them was, of course, the Costco potstickers. And I really liked them, but the only problem I had with them is there's not enough. There's never enough. Bag of 60, not enough. So. Uh, what we're going to do today is make our own different version of it. I've never seen this done before and I don't know how many of you keep a pen and paper next to your bed at night, but I was laying in bed on Friday night and I thought, I've never seen gyoza meat inside a sausage. So today we're going to be making uh, gyoza without the shell and instead I'm going to be putting it inside some sausage casings. I'll use my KitchenAid for this. Uh, this is a, a meat grinder with a sausage casing attachment. So I'm going to be running it through there. And all you're going to need, well, if you don't have a KitchenAid and you don't have a sausage maker, just skip the casing part and you can fry the sausage up how it is, but I don't think it'll taste as good. So anyway, all you're going to need is a pound and a half of ground pork, about eight pieces of green onion, one and a half cups of cabbage. I cooked this um, in boiling water for two minutes, ran cold water over it, and then minced it. So I recommend doing that. And then this little concoction of soy sauce, garlic, and cornstarch. I'll include it all in the text recipe below the video, so don't worry if you didn't hear what I said. But let's get started. Now this should be a pretty easy recipe. All you have to do is combine the pork, the cabbage, the green onions, which I'm about to mince, and then the um, cornstarch and soy sauce mixture with a little bit of garlic in it. So we're going to start by mincing your green onions. Okay, once you've got your green onions minced, you're going to throw everything here in the bowl. I think the best foods are the foods that are mixed by hand. So I'm just going to mix this up with my hands real quick. And make sure you get all this pork, all the cabbage, and the sauce, and the green onions very well acquainted with each other before you put it in the casing because once it's in there you're going to want a pretty uniform mix of uh, the different textures with every bite. And the good news is it already smells like gyoza filling. So making sausages aren't hard. Basically if you can put a condom on you can make sausage. They're not going to look perfect um, but they're going to be sausage. So let's get going. Okay, well I got about 10 sausages here. I'm going to save the rest for lunch tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to go throw these on the grill and I'm pretty excited to eat these because the, the casing is going to keep that nice juicy flavor in there so when I bite into it, it's not going to all be drained by water um, like you would normally get with gyoza. So I'm going to go throw these on the grill and then um, while that's cooking, I've got two cups of rice cooking on the stove and I'll pair that with some sauces later. So, see you soon. All right, well the sausages are done. I'm just going to add a little bit of rice to this plate. <clears throat> And finally, I'm going to add my favorite dipping sauces. Sweet and sour dipping sauce from Kikoman's right here. I'll just put that on the side. Last but not least, my second favorite, Kikoman's teriyaki sauce. I'm not going to put that on the plate because it's too um, viscous. It would just run everywhere. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. These were gyoza sausage links with rice. Catch you next time.